Hey everyone, my name is Simon Ray and welcome back to my channel for a pick car reading. Although today is a little late, but we're going to um, make sure we get right into this. Anyway, so today's pick car reading is going to be what are people saying about you? And I'm doing this by a list. I'm going to just show you all right quick. That is my little list. But, yeah, so, today's Tuesday, yeah. So, today's Tuesday, so what are people saying about you? So, I have three pick up, I have three piles here. I have one, which is cellulite. Two, which is, um, this is, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's, um, salt. It's pink, pink Himalayan salt. This is pink Himalayan salt in a heart shape. And then I got, um, this, uh. And with this here. Please excuse me. Now it's going to be done probably um, tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow. Thursday. Okay, I'm going to give you a, a minute to pick your pile. And then we're going to get started with this reading. Okay. If you picked pile one, you picked the cellulite. And we're going to get started with that. Communication. Wonder how. Wonder how that other person is feeling. Ask him. Wish. Mm, you got. Okay. I already see your cards. I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. Just ask me to pick one more. Wonder how. Uh, ask them. Wonder how that other person's feeling. Ask them. Wish they knew how you were feeling. Tell them you've been. Drafting into communication army where there are strict to do and do tell policies. Speak with kindness, gentleness, and reach and understanding. If you don't, assum assumptions will make asses of you, including the person who came up with the apparatus, whatever the hell that means. Listen, I'm not the best, you know, reader, whatever, out loud, or whatever, but you get it. Basically, communication. People are talking about you a lot. Okay. Okay, the, the first card out was engagement. Then you got connection. You got personal growth. You got worthiness. And no need to do. I feel like people are saying about you. I heard that you put too much on, put too much of your business out there. I feel like somebody in particular feels like you're talking a little bit too much. Maybe, you, maybe you're a gossiper. I think some of you guys are like gossiper. Some of you guys might be bloggers. Some of you guys might be people who do stuff that put their uh, life in the public for work. Like maybe like an influencer or YouTuber or blogger or something like that. Like somebody who has to put their life out. And many people are saying that you put too much out. Like people are saying that you put too much out and like too much of your business out in the world. It's like way too much. People are like, yo, all they do is talk about themselves, their family. They talk completely too much. A lot, of, a lot of people are saying you put too much in the social, uh, in your stories. Like maybe you talk too much in your stories, and you always writing something, and they don't, they don't understand why you always writing something. Like it's like you always have something to do, and you don't even gotta do all that. Like people are already interested in you, and they already think you're cool. You like they don't, they don't feel like you have to say, you know, they don't feel like you have to do as much as you do, like or say as much as you say. They feel like you maybe always. Some people feel like you always explaining yourself, like over explaining yourself. Like you just have so much to say, but you really don't have to say nothing at all. You might be one of those people that's like always like that like one of those people that's always have some type of drama in your life or some type of something about a babysitter or babysitter. So maybe you have some type of drama with your babysitter or something like that. You don't know who that is for a reason that I would say if that was said that was made me to say because they want to connect with you. And this fell out as I picked up my deck. Again, it's like you, it's like stuff going on in your head, but they, it's like you, you don't feel like it's okay for you not to say something. Like you say whatever pops in your head. So some people might think you're a bit rude. 
next card we got is abundance again that's like i'm saying like people are saying that you talk too much like okay for some of you guys it's like it is regular you talk too much like you just talk too much you put the business out there for other of you guys it's like you're they feel like you always bragging you bragging about what you have you bragging about what you do you bragging about who you with like you always bragging you might be in a new relationship i'm here i'm seeing a girl in front of a mirror so it's like um yeah, you might be bragging about your new relationship. You always bragging like all the time, and like people are. It's it's not like some people. I can't. Say, of course, some people are jealous, but I'm not seeing that here. It, with the red card, it's making me feel like some people are kind of angry about it. Like I don't know. I don't know if that's jealousy. Why would somebody be angry about you talking about your relationship all the time? I don't know. You don't know how that resonates, but maybe it's an ex. Maybe it's an ex, and you know that's mad that you always talk about your um. Your new relationship, it's like they also feel like you talk about your goals and you talk about what you do, what you're about to do too much. Like it's okay to be able to, it's okay for you to do stuff and not tell nobody until it's, get, until it's done. And don't feel bad because I'm like that as well. Like I used to tell everything, like if I had a new project, I used to be like, oh, new project coming up. Oh, this in the works, this in the mix. Now I don't say nothing. I do the project or I do whatever I'm going to do and then I'll... Then I go and I'll um, tell people like, yeah, I'm about to do it. So yeah, I just did this. I learned to not be so vocal about everything. You get what I'm saying? So, but people gonna talk regardless because I, I write unnecessary stuff in my stories all the time. But I just like you know, social. I love social media. Social media is my friend. That sounds so bad, but that might be the type of person you are too. Like you just feel like it is what it is. But yeah, I'm seeing people think that you talk too much. That's your main your main thing. If people feel like you talk too much, they feel like you always have so much to say. Like you always just I don't know. And some for others of you, you may have just gotten to a new relationship and you they feel like people feel like you're bragging about this new relationship that you got or whatever. And it's making people mad. Um specifically like you may have an ex or something. Let's see. I'm use my ultra power. What are people saying about power one? Yeah, like you're a really open book. People feel like you're an open book. For some of you, it's not, this is not particularly bad, but this is what people say about you. Like, they'll be like, oh, they always talk and they always on social media. They always have something to say. Like, just, they know your whole life. Yeah, somebody's really angry and sad about it. But they're going to, I hear, like, they're going to be coming to you soon to talk to you about it. They don't like something that you've been saying to the public on social media or something like that. Yeah. You know, for me, being in a crowd, they feel like, like, okay, maybe you recently took, for some of you guys, you may have recently took the social media and put someone on blast and you kind of embarrass them in front of everyone. So they're going to be coming to you soon to talk to you about that. Yeah. These cards fell out on the floor. I'm taking cards that fall out. So you got the brunch card. You got this uh, fireballer. You have the festival goer, Insta famous, and the brewer. Okay, with this, okay, I'm seeing like you're very social and you always spill on the tea. Like you're very social. You always spill on the tea. Like you can't basically hold water, basically. And it's like, as soon as somebody tell you something with her holding this water bottle, it's like you on your way to go tell social media or you on your way to go tell your best friend or your mom or your dad or whoever you talk to the most. It's like, as soon as they tell you something or something happens, you're on your way to tell somebody. Like, you're always ready to spill that tea. You know, this is orange juice or mimosa. Y'all know what I mean? Like, you always ready to go. You, you always ready to go spill that tea. And, and they're just like watching you do this. They're watching you do this all the time. With his eyes it's like they watch you do this and they can't believe that you just keep doing it like it's like yo like is she serious right now or, oh is he serious right now but like you don't care like you don't care you're you're like yes i'm serious i'm telling everybody like come again i'm telling everybody i saw see my instagram i'm telling everybody on my instagram that you're a fuck away because you're getting on my nerves so basically it's like that they like people are saying people are saying um you put a lot on social media, like they know your whole business. They feel like they know you from your social media. Somebody in particular is saying that to somebody else that you be on social media so much, and they're tired of watching it. They're tired of you, of watching you. They're also people, somebody's also tired of watching. It's like you put your business on Instagram, but it's like somebody is kind of tired of you watching. They're tired of watching your glow up. I feel like because you put your business on social media, maybe your, maybe your page is real popping, 
or like on your blog or your YouTube or whatever you do. Because you know how people do story times. I think that maybe you had an ex and you do some story times about that ex or whatever. And they're upset because it's like you're getting your channel is blown up. You're getting clout or like people are starting to watch your videos because of like your crazy stories or whatever. But it's like basically you put them on blast or like you always put them on their story or like cussing them out. Or like cussing them out on Instagram or whatever on Instagram lives. And people are like, oh, who that person talk to? Or like telling some type. But tea, it's somebody you're telling tea, but since you're telling that tea, it's making more people gravitate towards you. It's kind of making you famous a little bit. That's why I say it might be online. This might be even this this could be even be as small as at work. Like you might be the person at work that everybody goes to the lunch break and they're like, oh, a man is gonna have some tea, a man is gonna be able to say something, a man is gonna, you know, tell us something that's gonna be like funny or whatever, or maybe something happened in the office and you're basically running your mouth about it. So you got like everybody on your side or everybody just like up your behind because they want to know what happened happen but like they just like somebody in particular everybody's saying that you always got something going on you always want your mouth but somebody in particular is like not really too too happy about it they feel like you you like over communicate you feel like you over communicate and they feel like you put them on blast at some point and they're kind of upset about it and then for others of you for a small percentage of you, you might this might be a new relationship and you just kind of talking about your new relationship a little bit too much and since you talk about this relationship that you have too like so much it's like making them jealous or whatever that's why i say it could be an ex it could be a friend or somebody who you think is your friend but i don't think it's an ex i feel like it's an ex okay pal one let's see let me get your angel's advice and then i'm gonna get you the quote to leave you with what, what advice do you have for power one life review okay so if you are okay for for you for those of you i feel like i'm all over the place when i read i really hope you guys can follow me please let me down down below like if y'all be knowing what i'll be talking about <laughs> but okay so with life review coming out first i feel like if you are the type person that is very sporadic and you get mad at your boyfriend or girlfriend you feel like you have to tell social media about it your angels want you to like look at that like why do you need this attention from these strangers why do you need to put your your business on blast or i see like you don't have to do that like you really need to stop doing that is what they say like if you are uh yeah that's that's for those people let me see anything else if you're becoming like some type of insta famous or youtuber famous from your story time like it's okay but you should probably take the, the the names out of it and like change up a little parts i'm not saying lie but don't make it so obvious about that it's about someone else yeah but for majority of you guys who like the gossip you don't need to, uh, you need to stop telling everybody so much stuff. You don't need to, especially when you get mad. So everything not for social media. Anything else, angels? Anything else before I close that reading? Yeah, passion, career transition, and relationship harmony. Okay, for you guys in a relationship that's telling everybody about your new relationship, your angels want you, I have three different stories, your angels want you to know that you need to hold this new relationship close to you. You need to stop telling everybody that you're in this relationship and you're so happy. Like, the relationship is sent to you from the heavens or whatever you believe in. I believe in the heavens here. So, that's what that's, that's where their relationship came from. It was sent to you. It's a gift to you. It's not for you to give to everyone else. It's not for you to share with everyone else. Because sometimes when you do that, like, things can get messed up. Like, when you, the more people you add to your relationship, the more confusing it can get. So, your angels want you to know, like, it's okay to keep your blessings to yourself because your blessings were meant for you. Your blessings were meant for you. They're not meant for social media. They're not meant for your friends and your family. Your blessings are just meant for you. Now, my cards be laid out real messy, but that's how I read on top of each other. <laughs> okay. For the other percentage of you, because it's like three different stories. You got the ones with the new relationship. You got the ones that's been in a relationship and y'all just talking too much. Like every time your boyfriend or girlfriend get mad, it's like you tell Facebook like, oh, such and such just pissed me off. Or oh, such and such is such a hater. Oh, such and such gets on my nerves. Blah, blah, blah. Like or such and such, or you just got that arguing. Your age wants you to know that this is not going to help your relationship. If you stop being on social media and stop telling social media every time you have an argument or every time you have a disagreement which is significant other some some of you i heard this is even a family member like things will get better once you stop taking the fight to social media like sometimes they rather you come to them and ask them how you can fix it 
ask the heavens, ha ask God how, to, how you can fix it, or just keep it to yourself. Maybe try some journaling, going for a walk in nature, or something like that with those flowers right there. But you just, you got to stop. You got to stop. You got to stop taking it to social media. You're being way too open. They want you to know, see how open that angel is? Like, you're being way too open. You're being way too open. Okay, for the last portion of you guys where well, I said you might be like some type of public figure, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, they want you to know like it's okay what you're doing and that is like your path, but just know like you're going to lose a lot of people from doing like maybe friends and family, the stories made about, and again, change the names of the stories, change like little details of the stories. People shouldn't be able to line up, oh, such as to talk about this person. You know what I'm saying? So that's what they're saying. But they're saying it's okay. It's going to lead to like um, abundance and a, 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 a career transition. Okay, pile one. Let's go to your quote, your quote to leave you with. Go ahead and leave you with a quote. Don't live down to expectations. Go out there and do something remarkable. Okay. So I think that you've been doing this. Like you've been writing all your stuff on social media. Like you've always been a person that's been real open with social media. And that's cool because I've always been a person that's been that's always been open with social media. However, I do want you to know that you should stop. Um, you don't have to be what's always expected of you. But I feel like you do it so much, people kind of expect it. And if it's not part of your job, if it's not part of like... You being an influencer or a YouTuber or whatever, people think people like somebody people are so used to you having drama. It's like they come to your page and they wait for the drama that they know you're gonna have. Like they're like, okay, this person's gonna have drama. I can't wait till they come to uh get on the gram so we can see what kind of drama this person's gonna have today. So it's something like along those lines. So you don't have to be expected. Just stop. Just stop. Okay. Okay, Power One, that was your reading. I really hope that resonated. If it did, let me know. With that being said, I'm going to move on to the next pile. men so you might be a, a feminine energy or this might be like same sex but people saying that you hard to get it's like you be track star but this could be a man too but I'm, a lot of you are women and that's some men like you don't want to settle down it's like you're running some people are running from responsibilities others are running from relationships what running from job so a bunch of job don't need to do yeah somebody a lot of you guys are running enjoying your youth some guys some of you guys might party a lot like party a lot and just chill you gotta let it go yeah so okay with the divine timing card up uh, a lot of you guys are running from some, some some of you guys are running from your responsibilities some of you guys are running from being in a relationship some of you guys are just like running from like you know growing up like you might call out a lot and then your co-workers see you on Instagram or some shit like that but that's like for like two or three of you but most of you guys are running from relationship and running from responsibility some of you guys don't want to go get a job don't want to do nothing y'all just kind of want to chill and just be on social media all day or just do nothing other you, other people y'all are too busy having fun to settle down like y'all are or date or like going out being a fuck boy fuck girl or whatever or maybe some of you guys not even doing that y'all just enjoying your own company and people want to date you and want to tie you down but it's like they can't they don't know how it's like every time somebody get close to you it's like you just let them go like you be out like whenever you get bored like you just leave 
and people notice that about you, people may be, yeah, people say that about you. It may be some people that feel left behind, like maybe you went on a couple of dates, you used to hang out with them or whatever, and now you're just like, I'm cool. Yeah, manifestation. People do see you chasing your dreams. It's like they feel like you don't want to slow down because you're chasing your dreams. Some people are actually trying to manifest you back. Somebody might be doing some candy magic. I see a candle. So it might a green candle. But green candle is some money. So you might be chasing money. Yeah, okay. A lot of you people, I, I think some people are trying to manifest you back. So be careful. Um. Yeah, people like... Some it's okay. Some of you guys are really like the player types. We are a girl, and people are so in love with you, and they want to get to know you. But every time they get to know you, it's like you'd be like, "All right, I'm out. Like, all right, I'm out. Like, I'm not. I'm not really trying to settle down. Like, I'm cool or whatever." And then and they feel like you have a lot of options, and you do have a lot of options. However, this plate is untouched, so it's like you're you have a lot of options, but you're not really you're not really looking to explore those options. You just kind of have them there people saying about how to yeah preserve some people are actually going to wait for you and some people feel like for some of you guys you got somebody waiting for you like you've been dealing with somebody for a long time and they've been waiting for you to stop running running around in these streets so they can you know y'all can settle down and for another of you it's like you want people to wait for you it's like you're choosing you get ready so y'all can so it's like you got options you're like yo just chill until i feel like i'm gonna pick one of y'all and then i'll pick one of y'all and that'll be it and then you got spontaneously. See, so yeah, again, so you just up and leave. Like, you just up and leave. And you basically do what you want to do. Like, you want them, them real, like, them ballers or Instagram models that just be, oh, I'm in Thailand. Oh, I'm in New York. Oh, I'm in, like, Italy. Oh, I'm in Germany. And nobody knows how you in all these places. But you just in all these places. Yeah, and people watch, people watching, people are saying, like, watching your life. And they're just, like, so amazed by it. They're like, oh, my God. Like, because they feel like their lives is kind of plain. I don't know why this is social media. I should have said, because I, social, I guess I think a lot of people talk about people from social media. That's why I keep always picking up social media. Social media really didn't let everybody, everybody business for no reason. <laughs> but yeah, people watch your life and like all oh, they like, how can that person be so content being by themselves? Yeah, people are all constantly watching. Somebody may have a lot of money, may have a lot of a nice watch. Tattoos, but you are learning from every relationship. A lot of you guys running from love. A lot of you guys running from being in a relationship. Yeah, all your cards are going. You see how all your cards are like moving. You don't want to. You don't like to stay in one place. You don't like to stay in one place. I think that's that's okay though. You running from love. I think I don't think that you necessarily like you are, but you necessarily just not. I feel like that's not your main focus right now. But people are saying that. Yeah, learn from responsibility. Some people may think you're getting too old for that to still be trying to be single and have fun and stuff. It's like you should be responsible and fucking like miserable like everybody else with kids and family. <laughs> it's like nah, not everybody's miserable. But you know what I mean. Yeah. But you like you're in your own world. Like you're not worried about what nobody thinks. Like you're trying to either it's too it go it's either you're trying to reach your ultimate potential or you don't know your potential. So either it's like what I said at the beginning with no need to do. Some of you guys are not just doing anything with your life, and some people, your family members, especially specifically your mom, is saying that you're not doing anything with your life. You don't want to take responsibility. You don't want to get a job or whatever. So this is why we have that. That can be that as well. And then for some of you guys, it's like you're just trying to reach your ultimate potential, like as far as your life like you try to get the most out of life so you're not really concerned about settling down i feel that though i really feel that i don't know if i think this what are people saying about you or what are people or what are people saying about your social media i think i'm gonna name it what's the gossip about you Ooh, oh so many cards out uh, i think my deck is tired it says i don't really got much more to say <sighs> I don't even need. Do I need Millennial Path? It says no. I can pull if you, but you can pull if you want. All right, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up. Is this? Are people saying this about your love life, or are they saying it about like you just not being like responsible? Mm. Yeah, some of you guys need to get a job, and with the yoga teacher, it is your love life. 
But that's that's the card I use for uh, sexual stuff. Sexual. I get a lot of sexual stuff from yoga. I don't know why. But yeah, some people think that you're a little bit too loose, and you're always in something new, always trying to. You feel me? Pour it to somebody glass. My deck is doing a lot right now, so I think that I'm cool off that but yeah people think that you get around you get around you get around but it's by choice okay any advice for power two and some of you guys just need to get a job your mom just wants you to get a job <laughs> your mom wants you to get a job i know it's hard right now start a business do something online like you don't even have to do a business where it's like um where it's uh product based you gotta do a uh, uh you could do something like, you know, cor online courses or, um, what the fuck is it? Um, marketing or something like that. Okay. Wish you could harm me. Okay. Yeah. A lot of you guys are learning from all these shit, but they want you to know. And you know, if you choose to settle down, when you choose to settle down, um, your relationship is going to be a good. And that relationship that you choose to sell now is going to be a good relationship. It's also going to be a gift from God. Like, love is a gift from God. Stop running from it like it's some type of evil. Like, it's going to slow you down. The right relationship won't slow you down. Okay? The right relationship will make you better. Just remember that. Okay. One more. Yeah. Clear your space. Stop getting soul ties. Stop getting soul ties and for you, those of you who don't have a job, get your ass out that bed and clean your room. I'm seeing your covers over your head. You need to clean your room. Open your curtains and clean your room. The other people, stop making soul ties because you're making a lot of soul ties with these people that you're sleeping with, you know, or dating or whatever, but mostly sleeping with, and you need to stop making soul ties. Okay, let's see the quote to leave you with. How to... I heard that soul ties strongly. Biting and bopping. Into daybreak, that's wonder. That's wonderly clear. I rise. I don't. Okay. For you guys that, who are. Okay. That's why. That one came on immediately. For you guys who are don't have a job and kind of depressed or laying in bed, you know, COVID got us all certain way. You have to get up, clean. You got to get up, clean up, clean yourself up, open your curtains, let some daylight in, go outside for a walk, okay? And then look for a job. Okay. For you guys about love, what lies behind us is what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what is within us okay so you may have been in a bad relationship before and you feel like since you've been in a bad relationship before or it took who you are or whatever it did to you you might feel like that's gonna happen every time you get a relationship and spend what you know it's not gonna happen every time you get a relationship so it's okay to to stay it's okay to stay with somebody it's okay to pick a guy pick a girl like it's okay you'll 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 know so if you got one who you like i would go ahead and you know talk to them but either way like it's so don't be scared to settle down okay i'm not saying settle down tomorrow but don't be scared because your car is running all your stuff is running it's on wheels so it's moving fast that means it's not even giving anything time to develop it's just like oh i like you too much bye it's energy like that but anyway uh thank you guys so much for watching that was your reading pile two i hope it resonates if it did please let me know and we're gonna move on to pile three which is the amethyst sorry i'm moving a little fast today guys i got paper to write and my tarot cards, I'll be here all night messing with them. You got three cards when I pull, and it told me to keep all three of them. You have friendliness, you have forgiveness, and you have ups and downs. Okay, immediately, this story, this is an important message. Let me put this on because this is important. You got an important message. So, immediately, I'm seeing, my fact, immediately, I'm seeing that you got some type of issue with someone. But you forgave them. But they don't feel like you forgave them. It's like they feel, it's like you said you forgave them. But you see this this crocodile with this tooth? It's like they're scared that you're going to come back and get them. Like they're scared that you're going to come back and you're going to bite them in the butt. You're going to bite them in the butt. That's how they feel. They're scared that you're going to come back and you're going to uh, retaliate. Yeah. 
They feel like you're waiting for that moment and everything's going to come raining down on them. And you're just waiting to attack. So people are saying that. So something may have happened in public and a lot of people know about it and that's what they're talking about. Like something, somebody may have embarrassed you or maybe your girlfriend cheated on you or you cheated on your girlfriend or yeah, or your boyfriend cheated on you and they know